Knocked out the connection. Let me just quickly uh I actually have some females with the zoomies. Yeah. You settle now? This girl just went went crazy running. She went crazy running on me, huh? Yeah. All right. Look, I love it when Mocha stands like that. She just Yeah, this mama Aruba. Yeah, guys, like I was saying. Um I wasn't able to bring the the males out, man. is is unfortunate, but I just can't couldn't bring them out. Ah ah, come here, come this way. And you guys know every time every time it rains, we get we get mud and muddy water all up in that area. I apologize, guys. Uh, went live and Aruba went live, and you know how it is, man. The minute you go live, they don't call you all day, but the minute you go live, all of a sudden. They, they want to hit you up. Ain't that right, Chanel? Huh? Ain't that right, mamas? Yeah. Mama Ruba. Look at Roxy. She she wants to jump up, too. Ah! Get up. What you doing? What you doing, Mocha? Yeah, guys. Sorry about that. My apologies. But, yeah, man, I, I love this 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 time of the year. Grass is nice and green. Uh, nice, nice to see she's doing better like that. Congo is going to her. What makes you choose him? D Taylor, man, D Taylor. Uh, well, the reason I went with Congo is because I felt, I feel right now, Congo, Congo, I feel has surpassed 305. That's just the bottom line. And, um, just his structure, his, uh, Ah, 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 come here, this way. Uh, his his uh, breed type, he definitely has more breed type. He, his structure, look at this girl, hold up. Let me see if I can get her. She was just stacking here a second ago. Hey mama, little Roxy. So um, yeah, that's why I went with Congo, man. Um, you know, his head is, is more bully-like, um, got a bigger head on him, got more bone, got more girth. Uh, has produced more girthy, bigger dogs. I'm not looking for big. I'm not somebody that wants a 130-pound dog running around. Uh, I'm okay with 110, 21 inches at Withers. I'm, I'm cool with that, man. I'm actually, that's, that's golden if you ask me. But, um, you know, I had to make a choice at that point. Uh, the choice was already made. Um, but either, e either way, I still had to make it right then and there because, like I said, uh, she was at a 30, and it was already, was it, 3 o'clock in the afternoon? Like, it's, it's the worst thing that you could do because you can't call up the, the stud owner. Look at these two fighting at it. That's Ali and, uh, and Daisy Duke. Yeah. Go ahead, Ali. Go get it. Uh, so, yeah, man. I uh, just had to make a decision, and uh, that's what breeding is about. I've told you guys, plan A, plan B, plan C, all the way to Z. Um, I can tell you guys, uh, the purple ice litter, I'll be taking it down tonight. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, Fred, uh, the owner of Dooley, he lives out in California. He's about two hours behind us. It's just one of those things where... Uh, the female, she skyrocketed. She went from, Athena went from 0.29 on Friday to uh, 20 yesterday. So when that happens, you know, you have to start thinking of uh, possibly um, a split heat, uh, possibly, uh, you know, a, f a fast heat, which is a lot of times a split heat and... Um, it's not even worth a try at this point. If she went up from 0.29 to 20 in a matter of three days, I mean, you know, I'm sure there's a breeder out there that could get her pregnant. And, you know, I tip my hat off to you. But to me, it's, it's not even worth worth even trying at that point. It's just it just gone up too fast. Look at this girl. This, this is one spunky girl right here. This is Daisy Duke. And she's showing... She's showing that little girl right there how to be spunky. And Ali, the big, bigger girl chasing them, she's a puppy too. This girl right here, she's learning how to be super spunky. And that spunkiness, in the long run, 
is going to lead to somebody wanting to be more spunky than the others, wanting to be an alpha or something like that. Look at her, look at her, look at her. She is such a, she's such an independent little girl. And of course, Daisy gets her stick and no one can touch her. Mocha, come here, baby. Is Mocha letting me know she wants to, she wants to go to the kennel area. That's how she does it. So guys, for those of you that are tuning in to us for the first time, let me just introduce you to our, our cast today. Come here, Mocha. Come here, baby. This big girl lying down, that's the oldest dog in our kennel area. That's Mama Aruba. And no, she hasn't always been that heavy. She became that heavy once we spayed her. So I think hormones has a lot to do with that. This little girl is Roxy, and she's the newest member. Uh, she's not staying. I'm just holding her for the uh, for her owner, uh, who's making his way over here. This girl over here. Ah, I don't want you on the burn pile. Chanel. Chanel. Come here. Good girl. This is Chanel. Beautiful Chanel. She is... She is, where's Roxy at? There you go. This little girl, that's her mom right there. Um, let me see who else we got here. We got Mocha. This is the girl that's going to be going to Sham, or Shamrock's going to be going to this girl. This is Ali. That's Macho's sister off of uh, Cross City Bullies, uh, the buff. All right, missing anybody? Oh, yeah. How can I forget, man? This is our resident pocket. She's the only pocket bully I have here. Her name is Daisy Duke. She's off of uh, Tyrone Blue Note. Um, ah, get out of there. Get out of there. Roxy, I got to be on top of them tonight. Get into the burn pile. Roxy, ah, ah. Come on. Get out of there. Good girl. Get out. Ah, get out. Okay, good girl. Come on, this way. Arua, bring her this way. Come on, let's go, everybody. This way. Let me just get them over here so they won't get in trouble. Roxy, come here, Roxy. I'm telling you, uh, Willie, by the way, Willie's the owner of this little girl. You're going to have your hands full, man. You're going to be doing this a lot right here where you're going to be carrying her out of a lot of trouble, man, because she is very, very independent. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, right now with Mocha, right? Cause I guess you guys are, are probably asking, uh, she is, hold on, here we go. Do you think females are having split heat because Daisy Duke brought them into heat? Uh, no, no, Isaiah. Um, Athena, she, she's been co-owned. She's no longer in my yard. So I think. That has a lot to do with it. The fact that she's in a new environment. This girl, Mocha, she's at a seven today. Yesterday, she was at five and a half. So she is steadily making her way up. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for her to, to give us that bump all of a sudden. And when she does, you know, definitely uh, we're going to get uh, Shamrock in her. And then also our girl, Cafe. Um... We're just waiting for her to go in heat. She's not even in heat whatsoever. This girl right here, she's just a puppy. I know she looks a little bit bigger, but she's just a pup. It's Macho's sister. Her name is Ali. Come here, baby. She's a sweetheart. Come here. Good girl. Yeah, mama. Yeah, and then Daisy Duke comes in because she's... Daisy Duke is an attention whore. Yes, yeah, she is. Um, but yeah, man, no, no males out here today. Lovely weather right now is hitting about, I don't know, man. I want to say somewhere around 67. Uh, I couldn't ask for better. Uh, we don't have a cloud in the sky. Check it out. Not a cloud in the sky, man. You can't beat it. And, uh, you know, I decided to start coming on live here on a daily because I've had several of you telling me, Hey man, uh, when I'm driving home, I like to check your dogs out and whatnot. Let me see here. We got D. Taylor. Can multiple females... Let me flip this. Can multiple females being in heed speed up the speed number... Or increase the numbers, I guess. 
Uh, yes. Why? Because. Say, for example, you have a female like Athena. She just left my yard. And I just found out that when they came to pick her up, uh, they have another female there. And she was in full-blown heat. She was at the end of her heat cycle. I'm pretty sure in their yard she had urinated plenty of times. That urine has some traces of estrogen. So when Athena gets there, I'm pretty sure she sniffed it up and it probably triggered her. Maybe to even come in a little bit sooner. When that happens, I feel that, you know, things like split heats and things like that uh, have more of a tendency to occur. Uh, because she's really coming in heat more than anything because she's being triggered by hormones. But it may not necessarily be her time. Um, if that makes sense. Because remember, I've told you guys about in, out in the wild with wolves, the only ones that breed are the alpha male and female. Therefore, the other females become surrogate mothers, right? And when they become surrogate mothers, check them out. When they become surrogate mothers, what happens is they, they'll go into a false pregnancy. They'll produce milk. Uh, this is really more than anything to ensure um, the longevity of the pack so that if something happens to the alpha female, the pups have an unlimited supply of milk. And, uh, you know, that's, that's how nature has it, man. So, yes, it, it is very possible. Uh, her sister's spunky too. Uh, Mocha, get out of there, baby. Come here. Uh, Green Hash says, yo, brother, one question. My girl daddy was XL bully. With papers, her mom half XL bully and half blue nose and don't know what to tell people who ask her breed. Well, embark, do a DNA test and then say whatever's on there. Um, that way, you know, you'll have an answer. Catch, uh, catch Guard TV, fire, number love, man. Appreciate you, man. Mocha is so cute. Uh, Mocha just tweaked her, uh, I don't know what's going on with, well, let, let me tell you what's going on. Um, this dude over here, 305, is going nuts. He's going bonkers. And I'm thinking that he might have inadvertently caused the injury on our girl Kadabra and now Mocha. Uh, Mocha's situation is a lot better than, than what Kadabra's was. But nonetheless, he's been mounting them, right? Trying to mount them. By the time I yell at him, he gets off. But, you know, he's putting all the pressure and all that weight up front. And I'm thinking, you know, he might have just you know, made them sprain a muscle or something. Uh, I'm in love with the pocket. Daisy Duke says Dane Williams. Me too, man. Me too. Daisy Duke, man. And her little floppy ears. She just, look at her, man. Look at the attitude. Look at the attitude, man. Huh? Huh, Daisy? Look at her from above, man. Definitely that boy Tyrone. You can see he throws, he throws plenty of muscle, man. She definitely has a lot of muscle mass on her. Uh, nice dogs, DC Wade. Appreciate you, Jeremiah. What picks are available on the Volcano Litter? I, I don't know, guys. Um, hit me up after the live. I'll check my list. You guys got to realize on a daily, um, you know, what I do a lot of times is I give access. Like my daughter has access to Instagram and to my Facebook and whatnot. And what ends up happening is when somebody wants to either put a deposit or they send the screenshot that they sent in a deposit or whatnot my wife and my daughter they also get it so for example i'm out here with the dogs now uh for the last two hours and i'll probably be here for another hour or two and by the time i get home then then that's when i'll see you know if we received any deposits or whatever so when the live is done you could always hit me up and check it out uh, you know, download QBN app, click contact us, and I'll let you know. Uh, Bobby Banks was cracking. Not much, man. Take off your glasses, Reaper. Oh, man. There you go. Yeah. There you go, man. That's only for a minute, bro. I can't read. I can't read without a man. I'm getting old, man. Getting old. Freddie Strevy, loving the live, spur of the moment. Yeah, man. Why not? Why not? And, uh, you know, I used to do... I used to do full-blown dog pack videos back in the day where I would show what dogs would do and whatnot. I'm contemplating about doing these daily, or maybe not daily, but maybe every other day or so, just to so that you guys could see, you know, the ins and outs. 
um, what's going on. Right now, our female alpha cadabra is not here. And that's because she's in full-blown heat. This girl, she is just, she's just a spunky little girl. Now, aren't you? Look at that. Look at that. She almost took the phone out my hand. Yeah. And then, here's the thing, guys. In my yard, we have a matriarch. She's not an alpha. In fact, she's not even a beta. She's an omega. She... She allows dogs to take bones from her, do whatever. She don't care. She's just happy-go-lucky. And her name is Aruba. That's this girl right here. And I'm just in love with Aruba because she she, um, she raises pups after they've been whelped by the mom. Doesn't matter who the mom is. And the one thing about Aruba is she gets to do whatever the hell she wants to do in my yard. There's no... There's nothing off limits to her. So Aruba likes to eat this right here. This grass. Look, look, I could even give it to her. I'm feeding her like I'm feeding a hippo. Anyways, um, long story short, she's teaching all the dogs uh, how to eat grass. Chanel, ah, I got to stop her because my neighbor has chickens. Chanel, Chanel. Yeah, they, they already on a high alert. They're hoping one of them chickens flies over the fence. It, it would not be a pretty sight. Um, this is our girl Mocha. Huh, Mocha? Huh, Mocha? Why do you keep walking, baby? Okay, you want to say hi? You want to say hi to everybody? Yeah, you do. How about you, Daisy Duke? Yeah, Daisy Duke, man. She, she's something serious. Uh, but there you go. Chanel and her daughter, her spunky little daughter, Roxy, check her out, man, next to her mama. That's a 305 daughter, by the way. Yeah. And uh, as you know, Mama Aruba, she's mother to Chanel. She's grandmother to Roxy. She's great-grandmother to Ali. She's mother to Mocha. And she has no relation with Daisy, as Daisy was, we just bought her. So she's not, she, she has no relation in our yard yet once she starts producing then things will change but yeah guys we um yeah man i just i i love i love it when it gets green like this man you you can't beat it let me, let me why do they eat grass original excellent question so i'm gonna give you the the quick answer dogs eat grass to either make themselves puke okay or for digestive issues if they have any type of digestive issues or because they like it and it tastes good and it's just a habit they picked up. Um, I can tell you this girl, Aruba, she came here eating grass uh, ever since I bought her as a puppy. So it's been part of her everything. So guess what happens when she's had puppies here? Um, she's taught all the pups how to eat grass. This is what she does, man. So, you know, I get a lot of good things from Aruba because... When I take pups away from the moms at day 24, um, I do that on purpose, by the way. Um, then, you know, by the time they're, let me see, let me flip this. By the time they're five, five to six weeks old, then they're going to go into the cage with Mama Aruba. And Mama Aruba is really good. She's really patient with, with puppies only thing is, um, just like you get something good, the bad thing is you're going to teach them how to eat grass. And uh, just is what it is, guys. You know, you got to take it. And we built these mounds because I know I've had several people asking. These mounds are not natural, obviously. You know, we got the culvert there. Um, I'm loving what you put together with your bloodline, Dad, Dad Banks. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, we're still working. We're still working. Uh, we're definitely not. We're still a work in progress. Um, Chanel, come here. Come here. Yeah, I got to be on top of Chanel because Chanel, Chanel be starting some stuff, man. Huh? Give me a stack. Ah, right here. Yeah, I love it, man. That's another thing, man. A lot of people hit me up as to how you get your dogs to stack. If you teach them how to stay in, in my yard, we use both the stay and stack command for stay. 
Uh, you guys are going to have great success having dogs stack. Because uh, look at that girl. I just, I'm talking about Ali over here. Yeah. Let me see. Love your yard, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Um, Sally Adams, the best sticks are in the burn pile. You know the sticks they can't have. Yeah. Reason I don't want them there is because uh, there's there could be some sharp metals there. Now I don't want them to get, you know, cut up or anything. Uh, original says, uh, okay. Uh, original 86, what's the difference between blue nose and bullies? I think he was referring to a blue nose pit bull. Um, and so at that point, you know, bullies and pits were just not the same breed. Uh, and a lot of times if you own a bully, you find yourself educating pit bull people or people calling your dogs pits all the time. No, these are not pits. These are bullies. There's a difference. Um, and really the main difference is the bulldog influence, particularly in the temperament, which also helps take away some of the prey drive. That's really where the major change in behavior lies. Then you look at their bodies and, you know, bullies are just so much more thicker than, than pits will ever be. And so, you know, you, you, you got to make those distinctions for them sometimes. Uh, I'm over here reading questions, man. Sorry. How old is Daisy Duke? Daisy Duke, she's coming up on a year, man. She's somewhere around 10 months right now. Um, see, see, let's see, let's see. Any plans on breeding Daisy Duke? Yes, absolutely. Uh, if you go to our Instagram page, QB and Kennel, uh, look up Fireball. His name, he's the free stack freak. And that's precisely who will go into her. Um, his mom, Fireball's mom, is a pocket. And she was bred to an XL. And that's how Fireball was made. I feel Fireball um, is, is at the best proportion as far as height is concerned. Because if I was to put a, a taller dog, like say 305 on her, you, you could get some really wonky stuff. We're, we're dealing with more than two inches. In fact, we're dealing with more than three inches. Mocha, what you doing? Mocha. Mocha. Come here. Is she over there? <laughs> she over there chilling out. But yeah, man, we're going to put a fireball into Daisy Duke. That's that's what we're going to be doing. All the girls look great. Well, they're not all, all out here. Like I told you, Cadabra's inside. I appreciate it, Sarata. But um, uh, the reason she's inside is she had surgery yesterday. We did a uh, surgical artificial insemination and therefore... I just want her taking it easy today. Don't don't need her, you know, starting stuff. Um, I'm reading questions, guys, so forgive me. Uh, so that's where uh, JoJo gets it uh, from her mama, I guess. I don't know who JoJo is. If you could tell me, I have a dog is half alligator. Ah, there you go. Marie says, where does Chanel rank in the pack? I remember when you had the Fab Five, she was the most dominant. Well, excellent, excellent observation. Uh, Chanel is no longer here. She's over here. Chanel is no longer as dominant as she once was, man. To my, to, to our surprise, uh, Chanel, she's not an Omega. She's definitely a beta, uh, but she's a troublemaker. <laughs> she's a troublemaker, uh, when she's left alone. But, um, yeah, she's no longer like an alpha. We thought, I remember we used to make polls and we used to think and say, you know, we really think that Chanel's going to become an alpha. Uh, it didn't, didn't work out that way. Mocha, Mocha, come here. Mocha, come here, baby. Come on, good girl. Yeah, man. I, I just, I'm just hoping to God we don't have a chicken flying to the yard, man, because it's just, it's not going to be pretty. Uh, even the blue nose are not real pit bull terriers just for education. Okay, great, man. I'm not into pit bulls. I'm into bullies. But again, that, that was just the, uh, the thought I, I got from the guy. Um, I gave up explaining everyone thinks my bullies a pit. <laughs> yeah, I can understand slow burner. Huh? Come on, Ali. Yeah, I can understand, bro. Yo, what's up, Raul? What's the topic to pre-Anders? No topic, man. We're just talking dogs. That is a huge backyard. My blue nose will love to run around. He's very energetic. Look, this is what they do. Look, look how they... Yeah, it's about to get started here in a second. 
yeah it's about to get started here in a second uh what do you look for in a man this is coming from big mama uh i don't know big mama i've never never looked for a man so i i couldn't even begin to tell you so chanel's over here playing rough with ali trying to rough her up a little bit uh do you ever breed outside the bully breed uh no i don't i don't uh i may maybe one day when i get older i may look at frenchies we just got my daughter a frenchie and i'm in love with her um but no not at this time we appreciate you john doe appreciate you man i'm glad the bullies have been established as their own breed yeah me too me too well ali's holding her own uh, she's holding her own, but yeah. Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. Hey, cut her a break. There you go, mama. Yeah, that, that was the break. <laughs> That's all you get. Yeah, Chanel, she can be relentless sometimes. And I let her, man. I I, I, I like for my dogs to, to not be, you know, just full-blown sissies. I don't let it get out of hand, though. Let me let me walk around so you guys can see what they're doing over there. Oh, there she goes. Chanel, slow it down. Okay, good girl. Yeah. But yeah, guys, I just love the colors, man. The, the way the light hits and everything, man, that orange tinge. You can't beat it, man. How long have you been in the bully game or breeding? I don't call it game, guys. I call it breeding. Uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, people, I feel, use the wrong language uh, when it comes to our breed or to breeding itself. I feel that the word game is, is a disrespect to the dogs themselves, man. These dogs, they got feelings. They love. They love to be loved. All that good stuff, man. Don't call it a game because, at least to me anyways, man, it's just, it's a disrespect. But I, I get what you're saying. How long have I been breeding? Eight years. Eight years. Um, let me tell you, time flies. Uh, I could still remember when I'd, I had no adults. All I had was puppies. And all I could do was dream every night, like, like everybody else, bro. Just dream, dream, dream thinking about, you know, she grows up like this, this, this would be a good male, so on and so forth. Um, I know yard's huge. How long do you let them out for? Typically, um, it all depends on the weather here in Texas, man. The weather could kill your dogs, man. So when it's really hot, I don't let them out. But like in this type of weather, I can let them out. They've been out actually in the kennel area for about a good two, two to two and a half hours. And then now, they're probably going to be out in total about another two and a half hours. So about five hours, five hours. I let them out four. I've, I've let them out before six to eight hours too, especially when it's cooler. Um, but yeah, man, five hours is more than enough for them to run around, go up these mounds, exercise, play with each other, all that good stuff, man. So no, excellent question. Uh, Daisy Duke has a strong personality, alpha material. She's not one to back down. No, she's not. She's not. She's proven that to me over and over again. Cadabra's at the point where, ah, 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 look. This is what I'm talking about. You can't be on them 24-7. Ah, get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Right? So whenever we get water, we get these little puddles. Ah, now I got to dewarm her again. Come here, little girl. Willie, you're going you're gonna to have your hands full with this girl, man. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, we're not playing now. She thinks she thinks I'm playing with her. Come on. Get out of there. There you go. Come on. Ah 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 Ali. Come on. Good girl. Yeah, don't ever don't ever let your dogs lick on a puddle, man. It's the fastest way to get all the dogs in the kennel sick. You get a little cock city up in there. Yeah, man. That thing will spread like wildfire. And all it is is them little puddles. They're, they're just not good. Um, I, can you breed a blue nose with a Beto Beethoven dog? I guess. I don't know. Um, come on, guys. Be serious. I ain't got, I ain't got time to play those games. Um, 
Daisy Duke is 10 months. I also have a pocket. She's going to be eight months. She's so small. I wish I can show you. Oh, okay. Well, you know, you could always send me pictures, bro, uh, whether to, uh, through Instagram or Messenger. Uh, how do you feel about people breeding dogs with no papers? Backyard breeders. That was good for the 80s, bro. It, that's it's not a good thing now. I, I don't I could care less what breed it is. Um if you're out here breeding dogs with no papers, um you you deserve every label they're gonna put on you. I mean, I, I just feel we're way beyond that point. Uh Furman Broom, what up, QB and K Yard? What up, Furman? Uh Big Mom. Okay, what about Dalmatian with the blue nose? I don't know, man. Uh, it's a new pup we got. Okay, Adam Fields. Oh, my bad. Adam Fields, my bad, bro. I totally dropped the ball. I forgot who was commenting. He says, JoJo's our new pup. Sorry. JoJo's a new pup uh, we got from you. Freda Strevi is, is my mom's. Okay, got you, bro. My bad, man. Sorry about that. Uh, Chicago Loso. I'm introducing a new puppy. Suggestions. Yeah. You might want to watch our uh, new puppy introduced to the pack video. It's going to show you how we do it. Uh, you could take notes from there, and then you know where, wherever else. I'm gonna I'm skip. I'm gonna skip some some uh, comments here so I can catch up, guys. Uh, do you treat the yard for pesticides, and how hard are the ticks out there? I don't treat my dogs. I, I'm sorry. I don't treat the yard for pesticide. Uh, we don't have a tick or flea problem. I feed my dogs raw garlic. We crush it. We let it sit for 15 minutes and we give it to them. That's what we do. And yeah, you're going to go to Google and it's going to tell you. Hold on a second, man. This little girl is going to give me fits. Come here, little girl. Roxy. Yeah, man. Yeah, she's going to give me. She's going to give me fits. Come here. What you doing? Come here. Come here. Let's go. Let's go. Come here. Let's go. Aruba. Let's go. It's the only way I'm going to get her away from there. Yeah. Let me just move them over here. Uh, I'm answering here as best I can. Do you treat the yard? No, I don't treat the yard for pesticides. Like I said, garlic. Um, we use diatomaceous earth, uh, vinegar, uh, pumpkin seeds, all natural. Uh, we, we don't have a flea or tick issue or any of that stuff man and it's just a matter of educating yourself come on Aruba let's go let me see here backyard breeders suck I, I have to agree with you man great info and channel I'm in South Lake Texas number love man what no way bro rest in peace Patrick Mahomes is what I'm reading Says car crash, ABC News, Associated Press. Bro, please don't tell me that is true, man. Please don't tell me that is true. Um, that, that's got to be one of the most talented, energetic young men playing the game right now. He's a legend already. He still has a world of football to play. Please tell me that's not true. Man, I'm sorry, guys. I'm usually not emotional or anything like that on the lives, but that that just he just he just got me by surprise on that man. Man, now you're making me want to jump off of here so I can see if it's true or not. Hey Rob, what was the name of the product that cures parasites and bacteria from intestines? The preanders. Do me a favor, bro. Go to um, download QBN app, click contact us, send me a text through there. I'll let you know uh, because if I tell you here, well, I'll tell you here. It's, uh, I do a combination of sulfothes, uh, sulfomethosoxazole and tripropram along with metronidazole. That's what I do, okay? The reason I wanted you to text me so I could write it or text it to you, that way, you know, you could have that. What's the first, first things you train your puppies on after potty training? Um, I'm not a trainer, guys. I'm a breeder. Uh, I just train them on our basic commands as to what we do in our routine, and they pretty much follow suit from there. Um, most of the training actually comes from this girl right there, Mama Aruba. Uh, she teaches them. She's the one that teaches them, uh, you know, how to be potty trained and all that. Um, how can I get paper for this pup? I don't know, bro. Whoever sold you the pup, that's what you need to ask. 
Taekwon Prater, uh, pup four months old was fine, but now losing teeth and adult teeth coming in has a slight underbite. Will it go back to normal as the rest of the teeth come in and head grows? Bro, underbites is one of them things that are really hard to clear, bro. So I don't know what to tell you, man. Um, contact the breeder where you got the dog. Have them let you know, um, you know, the parents. If they can show you the parents' bite. And, you know, if, if they have puppy pictures, that'd be great. Let me get these dogs. Let's go. Aruba. Aruba. Come on. Come on, Roxy. Of course, Roxy's not going to come in. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Mocha. Let's go. All right, man. Tell you what, guys. Hi, right, here she comes. Come on, Roxy. Come on, little Roxy. Come on. Yeah, man, I can tell you, Roxy's going. Yeah, man, she going. <laughs> she already, she already causing uh, gray hairs on me. So I can imagine the the new owner. Uh, as a Raiders fan, I hope it's not true, bro. As as a anything fan, as a human being, bro, I hope it's not true. I hope, I really hope it's not true, man. Um, guys, also by the way, uh, I've rescued several dogs. This little white dog over there that you see sticking her head out. Here she comes. Okay. She's like a golden retriever type of dog. If you know somebody that wants a dog like that, let me know, man. Uh, we've rescued her. I also have two Malinois like dogs over to the left as well. Uh, the only reason that I want to move them is because these spaces are now taken. Therefore, I can't rescue more dogs. Um, so, you know, until I move them, I'm pretty much going to be going to be stuck there for a little bit. Um, just search about Patrick. Nothing. Yeah, man, it's horrible when people do that, bro. That would have that would have definitely been horrible man slow burner it's not true nothing on google for patrick thank god man thank god patrick mahomes wherever you are god bless you bro uh we have a puppy rgb we have a puppy who did gain weight on the first week but can't latch to mom but latch good to bottle any advice huh man i hate it i hate it when it's that complicated um only thing you could do is is put them on the bottle. Then, if you can, take the bottle out and, and, and put mom's nipple and try to see if she can latch on. A lot of times, if you have a puppy like that, uh, their suction reflex is not the best or it's not the strongest. And that's probably one of the reasons why you're having an issue with them latching on to mom. Uh, in your opinion, who's the best registry and why? ABKC why they have the best standard for the american bully bottom line uh you know i've criticized dave wilson plenty of times for plenty of things that he might have not done right uh keep in mind he's the president of the abkc i mean it comes with the territory but with that being said i feel that you know it's is definitely is definitely uh the best registry so that's that's my answer can Macho stack yet? He has stacked on his own, guys. Uh, I just wasn't able to catch him. As soon as I catch him, I'll be posting him. Uh, geez, Ali really gotten big recently. Yeah. Yeah, she's... Look at her. Yeah. She's definitely, she's definitely almost as tall as our girl Mocha. But her width, the, the width that she, the thickness that she's coming in with is, is very noticeable. Very, very noticeable. Um, not true, not true. I love your page, man. Number love, man. How many dogs you got? Man, that's not a question you ask breeders, bro. I got, I got several. That's my answer. Uh, <laughs> Dupree says, uh, just sent the text to the app, my phone, man. Okay, cool. Check it out. We're getting a nice little stack right here. Chanel, there you go, baby. There you go. Good girl, mama. Good girl, mama. Good girl. All right. I love it when they do that. Uh, this has been great night shift for me, says Craig Campbell, all the way in Scotland. Number love, man. Number love. I wish it was easy to ship animals to the Carib Caribbean. Yeah. 
Uh, Diane Williams, I'm currently looking for a pocket bully female. I have a puppy. He's about nine weeks, and he eats more than my big dog. How many times am I supposed to feed him? Um, that depends who you ask, man. As far as me, I like dogs at a good weight. I know, I know Ali over here is gaining. Like I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't let, for example, Ali gain gain more. Like I don't want that. I, I like him. I like him like like Chanel. You know, I, I like to keep them at, at, at a weight like that, uh, where they're not too heavy, but they're also not too light. Um, let me see. How does Embark Koi come in? Man, listen, brother. I suggest you go to our Embark video and sit down for an hour and watch it. It's not something I could talk about in a live because I'll be here on a whole hour. I'll bore the hell out of everybody else, and you'll be the only one tuning in. Uh, so just go over there in my channel check it out we have plenty of videos talking about embark how to do it and how it impacts breeding uh if you could give one tip to new breeders for marketing what would it be uh don't photoshop don't do it it'll catch up to you faster than you think uh chanel looking good bro adam fields yeah she is chanel's actually going to be leaving our yard yet a second time this time she's she's becoming a cone but um yeah chanel is, is is moving i'm having to make some room i'm having to make some room for these upcoming shamrock babies and uh look 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 at uh my girl aruba aruba i was just gonna show you off on a stack stay there stay there Ah, uh, your feet are not straight okay okay mamas okay mom look at you look at you little troublemaker yeah, man. So, uh, uh, this message is held for review. I'm not even going to read it. Uh, I like King Corso. Okay. Great for you, man. Uh, listen guys, I want to appreciate you for tuning in. Uh, we just made a video today. Uh, got to get to editing and all that good stuff. We'll be dropping it next Monday. We're going to be talking about, right. The type of categories that American bullies fall under. So, I'm not talking about pocket Excel standard. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about prices. I'm talking about when you're going to buy a puppy from a pack. Is it a show quality pup? Is it a breed quality pup? Is it a pet quality pup? Because depending what category they are, it's going to depend how much money you're going to pay for them. And we're also going to kind of give you a hint as to what you can do so you can learn. So that way you're not paying for uh, a pet quality pup as if though it was a show quality pup right um so yeah man number love for you guys bro and uh we'll be tuning in again this week man it's been raw from the queue catching you on the next one